So I want you to listen to this very carefully. Jaguar run, making him a grappler with an armored command run to get in on opponent. Why does a grappler need a armor command run to get in? What is up everybody? This is Justin Wong. I just woke up and they have Tekken 8 Extravaganza. So much Tekken 8 footage has just came out. We got a Ling Xiaoyu gameplay trailer and actually hands on uh, footage from IGN. They played the game, it seems like, and they just went completely ham. Tekken 8 is going to be one of those really big games that do come out in the fighting game community in general. In the fighting game world, hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and let's watch it together. Section 8. Oh, let's go. Ooh, you see that look, though? Yo, you see her new look? Oh, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, you got the standard stance cancel. Look at the, look at the panda in the background. There is a panda. Is that like a reference to maybe panda is coming? Nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, what? What was that? Is it just... Bro, it looked like she she alpha countered. Like she did a a counter during block. Nah, that's kind of crazy. Obviously, the most the thing that really stands out the most is probably her outfit. The outfit definitely makes her like. It, I like the outfit. I wonder if she's easier to use in this game as well too, because she was pretty she was pretty complex, right? In just like tech and history. Oh, uh, you see the super. Nah, nah. Let me see that super again. I need to see the super again. That super was was kind of kind of nice. I I love like martial art supers where they go to the whole 360 of their body and just like smacking them up. Hmm. Uh -huh. Hit him with the Hinata from Naruto. Yep. I. It's a great transformation. It's like how. Sakura went from like schoolgirl outfit to like arcade attendant, but this is like Xiao Yu going from like I guess like little cutesy like dress into like this kind of, I don't know what he called it, but I really do like the jacket. The jacket and like the like the flow and everything, it's 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 nice. And then there is hands-on Tekken 8 footage. Four hours of the game. Mitchell Seltzman, you are a lucky individual. I am a self-admitted casual fan of the Tekken series. I have oh. enough into Tekken 7 to be able to talk about the most- Oh, uh, nah, the, that did a lot of damage, bro. Nina? The new heat system, which is all about enforcing one of Tekken 8's biggest design goals, rewarding aggression. With Wait. The press of a button, one of Tekken 8. Why does Nina not have heat? Oh, she spent it early. That's right. Okay. Yeah, she spent that. She spent that mad fast. Look at that. It goes away. I guess that's like your your rage rage drive. So if you spend the rage drive. It's like a move that just like takes away the whole thing. Okay. I was like wondering. I was like, how it, the, the match just started. A character can use a heat burst to enter heat mode. The effects of it differ from character to character, but in general, you can view it. Oh, oh my God! They play June. You're basically better at everything. Certain moves have new properties. Bro, you're gonna see that move a lot. They're just gonna go heat mode all day. New moves that aren't available outside of. Uh, uh, what? Dude, you hit that hard now? Moves that aren't available outside. Uh, oh, that's just two hits. Okay, that was I. That was her rage, her heat drive. I don't know what he called heat art, heat drive. I forgot what it's called. There were so many heat terminologies, but that was like her, the special move that eliminates the rest of her heat. You can actually stop that meter from going down by landing attacks. This is just one of the by landing attacks. I mean, I see you. You're getting you're blocking. Because like if you're getting hit or blocking, it go, it just like it goes away. It like stops. Oh, it does stop. All of the round. And if you decide that you instead want to cash out on damage rather than remain in heat mode, you can use. Oh. Oh. Y'all okay with this damage? This is a counter. My man King charged up, right? Hits him with the with the with the headbutt. No, what what the oh damn? With the elbow, with the elbow smack to the head, goes to the heat, and then look, she's so stunned. He cobbled into the the running grab, the running grab, and look, oh, that might not be techable. 
Eh, he still stays in his his. Oh, king! Okay. He's a real grappler finally. Ooh, 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 ooh. Bro, that did no damage compared to King, bro. Yo, look at Jack. Look at Jack. Paul and Jack eight. Paul lands his Phoenix Smasher, which is one of his five heat and danger special moves. Landing a so five moves. So th there's five heat en engager moves that goes into heat state. Engager gives him a free dash that he can use to get in close, but I actually don't think that this is a true combo. Nonetheless, he lands that cool launcher into throw uh. trailer. Then he lands another Phoenix Smasher, and when you land a Heat Engager during Heat Mode, you're able to use a Heat Dash to continue the combo. Okay. So he spends a stock of Heat Energy on a Heat Dash, picks him up off the ground, and finishes with a Heat Smash. Okay, so if you do a Heat Engager in Heat Mode, then it becomes a true combo, and then he cashes out with the Heat Special move or whatever. And Paul now no longer has any Heat Meter to work with for the rest of the round. And that is, that's an actual super. So the super is tied to the health bar, not the actual heat then, huh? Because Jack still has his heat. Hyper Viper Beam. So I want you to listen to this very carefully. Jaguar run, making him a grappler with an armored command run to get in on opponents. Making a grappler with an armored command run to get in. Why does a grappler need a armor command run to get in? Kazuya, meanwhile, can execute his iconic electric wind god fist technique without having to be frame perfect on the input. They made electrics easy mode. I'm a scrub. I have a tough time doing electrics on the left side. That's kind of why I never was like, I want to be a Mishima player. Because trying to get electrics, the Doryas, Doryas, the electricity ones, the really good ones, you have to be just frame perfect. In Tekken 8, I could play a Mishima, go in a heat drive, and now I can do electrics like a professional player. I could be like, I could be like me. Nee. He doesn't talk about this, but okay. So you see here, June lands a super from full life Paul, right? The lands a super. I'm, at, this is, I'm just thinking about this in a real match. Lands a super. Okay, I should purge the evil that stains your soul, right? Okay, lost 45. Lost 45, right? Paul's still an advantage right here. She gets, she gets, she gets, she gets a little bit of Oki. She goes and she, she lands her heat engager. Goes into the heat state. And now Paul's at, at 25. Gets the dash. Look, gets the lock. You see that? Gets the launch. Gets the launch. You think she? You think he dead after that? He might be dead after that combo. The key thing to keep in mind is that players using the special control scheme only have access to a very small selection of moves. This helps a lot because Tekken's so intimidating with so many moves. So this definitely helps a lot for beginners, but because like this will help beginners, and eventually beginners will get better at the game and then actually like learn like without using this control scheme, right? So it's pretty smart. Uh uh uh. Ooh. Yo, the combos look so good. But as someone who's always loved King, but was always intimidated by all of the commands needed to do a full chain grab combo. Bruh, that was 50. Shall you? There's still a lot we have yet to see. But yeah, new, there's there's a lot. Characters, combos, more, more like, you know, optimized combos. But like the, the heat system, I think it's pr pretty easy to understand after watching this video. Oh, what? Bro, you see the... That's sick. Okay. Uh, uh. Uh. Nah, that was... That was freaking fire, bro. I am super excited for Tekken 8 now. Like, I feel like I understand so much from watching the hands-on uh, preview, talk about the heat system, how it works, the, the damage was insane. This game might go really fast because, you know, like obviously there's going to be like more defensive strategy. All, all we're going to see is offense, but I don't know how good Korean backdash are or like how good runaway is because a lot of times when you see other Tekken games, they just Korean backdash, <laughs> right? But this seems like in your face a lot. Maybe because it's going to be more in your face because they added chip damage in the game when you are in heat mode. So it's like you have to kind of fight back in that situation. 
But what do you guys think in the comments? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about all this new Tekken 8 footage? Are you excited? Should I go back and play Tekken 7 and get ready for Tekken 8? Because if you want to get into Tekken 8, going back to Tekken 7 to, and picking a character is actually a much easier way compared to the other way around of Street Fighter 6. Like, how do you get ready for Street Fighter 6? It's really hard. Like, you... I wouldn't recommend you playing Street Fighter 5 or 4 or 3 or whatever. It's more of like you just watch the footage of Street Fighter 6 to understand. Or like if you're playing Ryu and Ken, then you play Ryu and Ken and Street Fighter 5 to like understand what their moveset is. But Tekken 8, like learning Tekken 7 will give you a much easier time uh, when you get into Tekken 8 for sure. So hit the like, share, subscribe, turn on bells, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.